Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, we will see how to use add to wishlist feature in WooCommerce website. So here we are going to try two different free add to wishlist plugins. So both the plugins will be free and you can use any one of them to add the wishlist feature on your WooCommerce website. On this products page, you will see this small button add to wishlist. If I click on this button, it will add this product to the wishlist. So we are going to add wishlist feature on this website. So after that, you can go to wishlist page or you can continue shopping. Let me add one more product. So here you can see that two products have been added to the wishlist. You can go to wishlist page. And here you will see all the products that are added to the wishlist. Menu item wishlist. Now if I add this product to the cart and if I refresh the wishlist, you will see that the product that is added to the cart is removed from the wishlist page also. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WooCommerce website. Now we are going to install two different free plugins so that you can to use the add to wishlist feature on your WooCommerce website. So let's start with the first plugin. I'm on the dashboard. Here go to plugins and go to add new. So we will see two plugins and whichever you like, you can use any one of them. So here search for WooCommerce wishlist. So this is the first plugin that we are going to install. TI WooCommerce wishlist. Click on install now. Click on activate. Okay, so when you activate the plugin, it will go through the setup wizard. It's a simple setup wizard. You can go through the setup wizard. So this is the first screen on the setup wizard. So let's start with the setup. So the first option is page setup. This will be the name of the wishlist. So I can change it. My wishlist. So you will need to assign a page for the wishlist. So on this website, I have already created a page wishlist. So I'm selecting that page. So on this page, it will show all the wishlisted product. Click on continue. This is the button setting. Where do you want to position this button? So these are the options after add to cart, before add to cart or custom position with code. So you can place the code on the template of your product page wherever you want. So I'm going to select add after add to cart button. You can also show the add to wish list button in the product listing page. So where all the products are listed, you can also show this add to wish list button. So that will be basically your shop page. Apart from individual product page, you can also place this button on the shop page. So this is the shop page of the website. And here you see this add to wish list. It is automatically added here. So I'm going to select yes, show in product listing also. Click on continue. Now processing option, how do you want to remove the products from the wishlist? So this will be the option automatically or manual. When you select automatically, the product from the wishlist will be removed automatically when you add that product to the cart. As soon as you add the product to the cart, it will get removed from the wishlist. This is the second option manual. People will be able to remove the product manually from the wishlist. Click continue. These are the share buttons. On the wishlist page, you will be able to use these share buttons. I'm going to select no for these two options. You can keep them if you want and click continue. So you will be able to share your wishlist on the Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, WhatsApp support. So I'm going to enable support chat. I'm going to disable this one and click continue. So the setup wizard is done. So I'm going to return to the dashboard. Okay, now here you will see the wishlist ti wishlist option and these are the general settings and styles option so from here also you can change the styles and settings of this plugin so right now it is using the theme style so let's go to the product page and let's see how does this work so on each product you will see this add to wishlist button now let me go to one of the product page let's use this one and here on single product page, you will see this button also add to each list. So let's click on this add to each list. And when you click on it, you will see this option, this message, the product is added to the wish list. You can close it and it will show the wish list. Now let's try to add another product. 
let's add this one close add this one close okay now let's go back to the wishlist page and refresh it so you will see these products are added to the wishlist so from here you can remove the products from the wishlist if I add this product to the cart it will get removed from here so it will get automatically removed and these are the share buttons so we can share this wish list so these are the bulk options if you want to customize this style you can simply select this option template custom CSS you can just disable this one use theme style and you can manually change the color and size of the button so these are the settings to customize the style of the add to wish list button so you can do it manually all right so this is how the first plugin works now we are going to install the second plugin so let's go to the dashboard then go to plugins and then click on add new so this is a free plugin that we are going to install now here search for WPC wish list so this is the plugin WPC smart wish list for WooCommerce in the previous videos we saw how to install the smart view on your WooCommerce as well as how to add the compare button on your website install this plugin WPC smart wish list click on install now click on activate okay the plugin has been activated and here you will see the option WP clever and this is for smart wishlist settings so let's go to smart wishlist settings we will see the basic settings of this plugin the first option disable the wishlist for unauthenticated users so the person who is not logged into the WooCommerce website can also create a wishlist so I'm not going to say yes I'll leave it on no so that anyone can create wishlist auto remove when the customer add the product from wishlist to the cart it will get removed automatically so I'm not going to disable that one so leave it on no multiple wishlist this is a feature of premium plugin so you will need to buy pro plugin for that enable enable or disable multiple wishlist this is also the feature of pro plugin for the pro plugin button now these are the settings for the button so the type of button it will be button or link so you can put a link or button now action open wishlist pop-up so when you add the product in the wishlist it will open a pop-up action added open wishlist pop-up so I'm going to leave this as it is or you can also change it to open wishlist page when they click on add to wishlist it will open the page so I'm not going to change it I'll keep it on the pop-up I'll show you how does this work this is extra class if you have an extra class now position on archive page so where do you want to show this button so right now here you will see the default layout add to cart so I'm going to put the add to wishlist below this add to cart the same for the single product page also under the add to cart button so this is the shortcut if you want to put the short code on any page you can use that categories I want to show it for all the products so I'm going to select all categories pop-up settings so these are the basic settings for the pop-up so I'm not going to change anything here now this is a wishlist page so the page has been already created automatically wishlist so I'm going to keep the same page here share button I do not want any share button the font icon let's leave it as it is copy link so I don't want the copy link also so I'm going to set it for the no okay action open wishlist page so here you can add the wishlist page to the main menu bar also so I'm going to select main menu so the wishlist will be added to the main menu click on save changes okay now let's refresh the product page so this is the products page and here you will see add to wishlist button is added below the card button so from here you can click on add to wishlist and it will open the pop-up window with the products added to the cart here you will see two different links open wishlist page and continue shopping so I'm going to click on continue shopping let's add this one also so you will see now two products in the wishlist now three products 
Now click on open wishlist page. And here you will see the page, the wishlist page. All the products that you add to the wishlist will be shown on this page. So from here you can remove the product and you can also add to cart. Okay, so product is added to the cart and let me refresh the wish list and the product is still in the wish list so let's change the setting and see if we can remove the product when added to the cart auto remove let's set it to yes and save the changes now let's refresh the wish list page now i'm going to add this product to the cart and let's refresh the wish list and you can see that product has been removed from the wish list so this is how you can add a free plugin to create a wish list feature on your woocommerce website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video Thanks for watching Quick Tips.